By June 1942, Hitler had advanced into the Soviet Union and hoped to easily take the strategic city of Stalingrad, the namesake city of Soviet leader Joseph Stalin. When the German 6th Army reached Stalingrad in September, they were unprepared for the well-armed and well-trained Red Army. The Battle of Stalingrad was being fought very slowly, due to Germans not expecting that kind of resistance by Soviet Red Army. Germans reached Stalingrad by September, and they fought their way through the city building by building, house by house, and were met with heavy resistance. The massacre was horrific on both sides. By mid-November, the Germans found themselves outnumbered, outgunned, extremely low on food and medical supplies, and surrounded by Russians. They saw the writing on the wall and had a chance to escape, but Hitler commanded they hold their positions to the last man in the last round. He also promised additional provisions, provisions that never arrived. The Germans were unprepared for Russia's brutal winter and suffering freezing temperatures, starvation and disease. Left with little choice, German general Frederick Pauls went against Hitler's orders and surrendered his weakened troops to Russia on February 2nd, 1943, an act which Hitler later on called treason. Germany's defeat at the Battle of Stalingrad was a very important point in the war pushed the Germans back to southern Russia and left them weak and on defensive. It also showed the world that they weren't invincible and deeply humiliated Hitler, who in response planned a massive offensive attack to permanently solve the Soviet problem. The response was Battle of Kursk that occurred in July 1943 around the Soviet city of Kursk in western Russia. As Germany launched Operation Citadel, Hitler's response to his devastating defeat by the Soviet Red Army at the Battle of Stalingrad. The battle was Germany's last chance to regain dominance on the Eastern Front during World War II and would be their final blitzkrieg offensive. In the early morning hours of July 5, 1943, among the beautiful yellow wheat fields that surrounded the Kurks bulge, Operation Citadel was ready to launch. But before Germany could strike, the Soviets unleashed a bombardment, hoping to prim the German offensive. It delayed the Germans for about an hour and a half, but didn't have a major impact. The Germans unleashed their own artillery assault on the northern and southern part of the salient, followed by infantry strikes on the ground supported by Luftwaffe, Germany's air force. Later that morning, the VVS, the Soviet air force, attacked German airfields but were unsuccessful. Still, the Red Army's ground defenses prevented German tanks from making much headway in the north and penetrating the heavily armored silent. By July 10th, the Soviets had halted the 9th Army north in advance. On July 10th, Allied troops landed on the beaches of Sicily, forcing Hitler to abandon Operation Citadel and reroute his panzer divisions to Italy to deal with additional Allied landings. The Germans attempted a small offensive in the south, known as Operation Roland, but were unable to breach the Red Army's might and withdrew after a few days. The Soviets won the Battle of Kursk and other Hitler dreams of conquering Russia. Arguably, Germany won the tactical battle but were unable to break through the Red Army's fortifications and so lost the advantage. But the Soviets won at a great cost. Despite outnumbering and outgunning the Germans, they suffered many more casualties and loss of armament. Casualty data is hard to come by, but it's estimated there were up to 800,000 Soviet casualties compared to 200,000 German casualties. Some historians believe those numbers are much lower than the actual casualties. Germany never regained momentum on the Eastern Front or recovered their loss of manpower and armor. Hitler and his Wehrmacht soon became reactive instead of proactive as they found themselves fighting battles on multiple fronts.